how to create your own economic environment in your high ticket affiliate marketing or coaching business. For today's episode, what I'm gonna be talking about is how to create if you do already have your own audience. What do I mean by creating your own economic environment? I think before I get to that part, it's important that you understand exactly what I mean by supply and demand. Now, to put this into some sort of context that hopefully makes a little bit more sense, if you happen to be an avocado producer, ding, avocado, and you are at the local avocado mall thing is that a thing let's run with it so you're at the local avocado mall i just made that up apparently it's a thing now uh, and um, basically there's a hundred other producers of avocados and everyone has avocados there's no differentiator between you and all the other avocado producers right and so therefore it means that if there's a, a quantity of people that are coming in to buy their weekly supply of avocados I really should have thought about this before I launched into it. Then what that means is that you're in a, a pool of competition, right? And so because of that, what's likely to happen in those environments is people are going to lower their prices in order to compete with their neighbor, right? So what that means is that there's an ample amount of supply and as a result, there's limited demand because there's probably less consumers that want all these avocados because everyone's got the same avocados, right? If we take that out of the way for a second and basically we are a lone avocado producer there is no one else there's no one else for like a thousand billion trillion miles that produces avocados and we know that there's a lot of people that really want these avocados they're just like the best thing ever they're amazing juicy oh, fresh love it. and uh, basically because of that we now know that a lot of people want these avocados meaning that there is a huge demand for them but what we can do is because we're only one little old producer, we inherently just have a limited supply of avocados. Now what that means is that because of the huge influx of demand and the limited amount of supply, that is going to create a price elasticity. If you've got a great offer, you've got positioning in your marketplace and you've got a, a bit of demand and you now control the supply, right? So this is where the whole supply and demand thing comes into play. Not just, you know, going nowhere with this stuff, it's all tying back to something. So now what we say is, okay, we've got 100 people in our audience and we don't have unlimited capacity to go and, and tutor people and go and coach people, all that type of stuff. So what we want to do is we want to limit the supply. And what that means is that our price is inherently going to go up as a result. Now, for example, when you've got, say, 100 people in your audience and you're only limiting it to a supply of, say, five, so five coaching spots or five group coaching spots or five one-on-one -on -one spots or five of these amazing bonuses that you've wrapped around this high ticket product as an affiliate then now all of a sudden we have price elasticity but we also have created demand all that being said hopefully you got value drop a comment let me know your thoughts check out my other videos and uh, see you guys in the next one thanks very much